yes, I'd like to talk about, if we can, some real-world cases. A case, and I, I, Tony, I want to go to you, okay? I mean, here you are, you're a law enforcement officer, 17 years. You've been involved in numerous uh, DUI arrests. You've been a witness. You've seen both sides of it. You, you've been there for the defense. You've been there for the prosecution. But I want to put you back in your role as a law enforcement officer and talk about one, uh, maybe a scene that pops into your mind that says, oh, my God where you come across an incident where somebody was killed because of a drunk driver, because I also want to make sure not to only paint this as all these innocent people being convicted. This is also a serious situation. Correct. Share with us maybe a story that you can't unshake. A story I cannot unshake would be the fall of 1990 uh, when I was an officer in Zone 6, which was East of Atlanta at the time. Um, wrong way driver on I-20, approximately around Moreland Avenue head-on collision with a mother and a baby in a car. Mother was killed instantly, and we found the three-week-old infant and about two, three pieces down the interstate, and that bored me because I just had a daughter born at that time, uh, July 10, 1990, and it just really hit home. And that's one of the reasons I got on the DUI task force in 1992 was because of that incident. It really hit home. I mean, it's like there are a lot of victims out there, and I don't want to make light of it, and I want to make sure, I think, at the end of the day, that those that are guilty are convicted, and those that are innocent are not. 